and then we're going to want to make the hinge in image number six. So we're going to need three long rods and in the first long rod we're going to stick two shaft plugs, one in the hole that's closest to the end, so you can see how on this side the hole is farther from the end. So on this side a shaft plug right here and then a shaft plug right here. Then we're going to take a short axle and with the stop on the left side stick it through this hole right here and then stick a medium sprocket wheel onto the axle so that its teeth line up with the shaft plugs and it should make a nice clicking sound. Then we're going to take another long rod and stick it onto this long rod. So this is what it looks like. And with the third long rod, we're going to take a short axle and put it in the bottom hole, the hole that's closest to the end. See how this hole is a little farther. So the bottom hole right here. Then we're going to stick a large yellow gear on one side and a large sprocket wheel on the other side. And then we're going to stick two anchor pins in these two holes the hole that's closest to the top, you see how this hole is farther, so in this hole and another one in, in this hole. And then we're going to attach this rod to this rod, so you're going to connect these like this, so that this can be the face of the pendulum, as it shows in image number six. Okay, so now, before we connect these pieces, we're going to want to make sure that the right gears are meshing. We want to make sure that this big yellow gear is meshing with this little yellow gear. So they are meshing. We want to make sure that this big gear is meshing with this little gear. And they are. And then we want to make sure that this big gear is meshing with this medium gear. And you can check them just by turning this large green sprocket wheel and seeing how everything meshes. Okay, and now we're going to add a chain, and the way you make a chain is with these pieces in this plastic bag, you connect them together, you make yourself a chain, and an easy way to put the chain on here, it's going to go on the large green sprocket wheel right here, so if you just stick it on the teeth, and then start moving the sprocket wheel, then the chain will come out the other side. So now you have the chain on, we're going to want to attach the pendulum to the setup and the way we're going to do that is by connecting this medium sprocket wheel to this small axle that's sticking out, but we want to make sure and connect it in such a way that these crankshafts are down on the large green sprocket instead of being up here. We want them to be down here when we connect this. Okay, and we're going to want to move this setup over to a corner. So in the image, it shows a weight, a water bottle on the end of this chain right here, but I'm actually just going to use my hand. And in order to get it started, you might want to give the pendulum a little bit of a push and then pull on this chain right here. And you can see how the pendulum keeps going. And you can see how this large green sprocket wheel keeps turning one tooth at a time.